Hi, welcome to Shipping TV and our regular Sunday news roundup for the 24th of November 2019. We've got news today from Liverpool, the Thames, Felixstowe and other ports and first pictures of an interesting new class of short sea traders designed for a more ecological future and more. The Rennes Archon Ship Invest shipping company is setting up its own ecological short sea fleet. It's placed orders for the first four environmentally friendly vessels known as Hans Eco Short Sea Coasters. They'll start to build in February 2020 and the ships are due to be delivered during the second half of 2021. The ships will be 90 metres long and have a maximum load of around 4,200 tonnes. Hull capacity will be more than 5,500 cubic metres. A forward bridge provides a clear view during deck loading procedures and the ships will have a new hull shape. An enlarged hold length also makes it possible to transport project loads as well as classic bulk and brake bulk cargoes. The owners say that this type of vessel with its end-to-end -end deck is suited to handle large volume and bulky goods and will be able to serve new cargo segments with its open top capability. Eco credentials include water treatment systems and a hybrid ship's propulsion system with an organic catalytic converter, support from an electrical motor and a waste gas after treatment plant. The main engine can also use organic fuels. Digital management systems include an integrated automation system and latest camera technology to simplify the operational procedures on board and in ports and to reduce the administrative work needed to be completed by the captains. It's not often you see a very large and very modern sailing vessel on the Thames. David Burns caught these shots of the Greenpeace flagship Rainbow Warrior heading upriver towards London. She'll be alongside at South Dock near Canary Wharf Station until Thursday this coming week, hosting Greenpeace internal events, but she won't be open to the public as far as we know. The UK port of Liverpool is on the expansion trail again, with three new ship-to-shore cranes heading towards it aboard crane carrier Zenhua 25. The new cranes will bring the port's total container cranage up to eight, and they'll be partnered by ten new cantilever rail-mounted gantry cranes, and there'll also be additional reefer points in the container stacks to allow the terminal to handle even greater quantities of refrigerated containers when the new equipment is installed, Liverpool 2 will have the capacity to work two 380 metre long vessels simultaneously. Last week's people trafficking news from ferries and ferry ports is making us all ask just how much of this evil trade is going on. DFDS Seaways crew aboard Ferry Britannia Seaways discovered 25 illegal migrants in a fridge trailer and returned to Rotterdam. Police later said that they believed the migrants probably came from the Middle East, mainly Kuwait and Iraq. Among the 25 people, they said, are six minors. The driver of the truck was a 39-year-old man from Romania and his role was being investigated. In a second incident, 16 men between 20 and 35 were found by a crew member aboard ferry Stena Horizon as she sailed from Sherbourg towards Rosslare in County Wexford. The men, believed to be from Iraq and Iran, told the Garda that they thought they were on the way to the UK. The truck and trailer are owned by an Irish company based in the southeast, and the driver of the vehicle, who was on board the ferry, was a man in his 50s who had been an Irish resident for more than 25 years. The Garda said that both the company and the driver were complying fully with their investigation. To round things off for this week, take a look at these stills there from a film made back in 1968, showing operations on the River Mersey. We've included links to the original Facebook page and to the original video on the comments for this report. 
We'll bring you more news as it happens and in our news roundup on Shipping TV next Sunday, the 1st of December 2019. We're always keen to hear from you with your stories, pictures and videos, so drop us a line anytime. You can also send us a text or phone message on this number 07943 043948. That's any time. We'll see you soon.